in any city, in any country, go to any abandoned amusement park, you can enter, find the largest roller coaster in the park, no matter its condition. Take a seat on the far left side of the first cart, then close your eyes and whisper. I wish to see the holder of catastrophe. You will feel the coaster start to move, but do not open your eyes, or you will find yourself moving through an endless void which you can never escape. The coaster will then slowly start to head out for what seems to be ages as you listen to the rumbling of the tracks. You will then hear voices whisper to you, asking you to save them. You must not respond to them in any way, or they will take you away to the same void to which they belong. The voices will stop speaking to you, and the cart will come to a stop with your eyes still closed. You must grasp the bar in the cart as tightly as you possibly can, or you will be left behind forever. After you do so, you will feel yourself plummeting straight down at impossible speeds. The rushing wind will only compound the rapidly chilling air. The cart will continue on its path. Despite the frigid temperature that you will feel freezing you to your core, abruptly you will stop, drop the bar and sit still with your eyes closed, until you start to hear the sound of a carnival fanfare in the distance. Only then can you open your eyes. You will be greeted by a large pinstripe circus tent, a few yards in front of you, surrounded by meadows and happy people, young and old. You must walk towards the tent, staring at the small entrance which is shrouded by darkness. As you continue walking, the scenery around you will start morphing. Slowly the meadow will wither away. The carnival music will slow and bend in pitch until it hardly resembles a tune composed by man. The people will decay in the very spots they stand. They will scream in agony and ask you to help them. Yet you cannot look directly at them, or you will meet the same fate as these illusions. You must continue forward until you finally reach the dark entrance. Walk forward and allow yourself to be swallowed by the darkness. Do not stop or look back. As if you do either, you will never find an exit. Continue your walk into the void until you see a dim light in the distance and start to hear the sobbing of a man. Follow these to signs as you hear the crying of the man growing louder. You will discover that the light is coming from a doorway in the darkness. When you walk through the door, you will be greeted by a cold cement cell. In the far left corner, you will see the crying man dressed as a circus clown covering his face with a small diary. You must slowly approach him as not to aggravate him until he is right by your feet. Sit down next to him and ask, what do we have to lose? The clown will then read you an excerpt from the diary. Through his sobs, the writings that are read to you will describe the demise of millions of innocents and the forces that so cruelly and coldly carried out this act. As he reads, illusions will appear around you, and in the periphery of your vision you will see every death of every person in the story, many of which were slaughtered, many of which were taken by disease. However, you must keep looking at the clown, as if you lose sight of him. You will be stuck in this illusion, and you will become part of the story yourself. After he is done, he will stop crying. He will lower the book from in front of his face, revealing that he has suffered the same decay as the illusions which you had seen before. He will then whisper, and the stakes are high. Best to play the clown as the rest of his body starts to decay. The room will fall away around you. You must close your eyes one more time.
keeping hold of the book and to count to exactly 12 seconds before opening them. When you do, you will find yourself in the same seat at the roller coaster in which you began. The diary is object 12 of 538. These events must never be allowed to occur again.